Hi students, in the last session we had dealt with air films having variable thickness. There we had studied about the air ridge which consists of two optically plane glass plates kept in such a way that at one end they are in contact and the other end they are separated by a very small distance so that a thin film having varying thickness is formed or obtained between the two glass plates. The thickness of the air film was zero at the point of contact and increased towards the edge of the wedge. Similarly, now I am going to create a new uh, thin film having varying thickness here. The arrangement that I choose is a plano convex lens that is one side plane and the other side convex a plano convex lens of large radius of curvature that is the radius of curvature of the convex part is nearly say one meter that is my convex lens is the part of a sphere of radius one meter such a plano convex lens is chosen and it is placed on an optically plane glass plate optically plane glass plate means a glass plate which has no disturbance on its surface perfectly plane glass plate okay it does not have any uh, what to say depressions or any disruptions on its surface now you place the plano convex lens on the glass plate so that between the lens and the glass plate I get an air film here in this region I get an air film along the circle of the convex lens throughout we have to make the lens in the lens in the glass plate in the middle we have to make air film get to air film in the protegada at the center at the point of contact between the lens and the glass plate the thickness of the air film is zero and towards the edge of the lens lens in that the thicky where another answer it air film in the thickness of kudi virim other idea the parallel light latin film and love varying thickness so to go to your thin film on the point of contact the thickness of the air film zero as you go towards the edge of the lens your thickness of your air film in increases okay now why did i use a plano convex lens of large radius of curvature suppose i used a plano convex lens of short wavelength a short for radius of curvature radius of curvature short means it will have high curvature and i am placing it on my glass plate so that i get a thin film now the thickness of the thin film might be large there அப்ப எந்த பற்றும் ஏர் ஃபிலிமிண்டை கட்டி கூடும் கட்டி கூடியால் யூ ஓன் கெட் தி இன்டர்ஃபரன்ஸ் பேட்டர்ன் அப்போ நம்ம எந்த செய்யும் யூ யூஸ் பிளானோ கான்வெக்ஸ் லென்ஸ் ஆஃப் லார்ஜ் ரேடியஸ் ஆஃப் கர்வேச்சர் ஒரு மீட்டர் ரேடியஸ் ஆஃப் கர்வேச்சர் கூடிய ஒரு கான்வெக்ஸ் ரேடியஸ் ஆஃப் கர்வேச்சரோடு கூடிய ஒரு கான்வெக்ஸ் லென்ஸ் என்ன பண்ணால் ஒரு மீட்டர் ரேடியஸ் ஆஃப் கர்வேச்சர் உள்ள வெளிய ஒரு ஸ்பியரின்ற பாகமாக நம்முடைய கான்வெக்ஸ் லென்ஸ் அவர் கான்வெக்ஸ் லென்ஸ் இஸ் அ பார்ட் ஆஃப் அ வெரி லார்ஜ் ஸ்பியர் ஹேவிங் ரேடியஸ் ஒன் மீட்டர் தட் மீன்ஸ் யூ மைட் நாட் ஈவன் பி ஏபிள் டு ரெக்கக்னைஸ் தட் இட் ஹாஸ் எ கேர்வ்ட் சர்ஃபஸ் அதனொரு கர்வேச்சர் உண்டுன்னு போலும் ചിലപ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലായി എന്ന് വരില്ല അത്തരം ഒരു ലെൻസിനെയാണ് ഞാൻ ഈ പ്ലെയിൻ പ്ലാൻ ഓപ്റ്റിക്കലി പ്ലെയിൻ ഗ്ലാസ് പ്ലേറ്റിന് മുകളിൽ വെക്കുന്നത് ഐ എം പ്ലേസിംഗ് സച്ച് എ പ്ലാനോ കോൺവെക്സ് ലെൻസ് ഓൺ ദി ഓപ്റ്റിക്കലി പ്ലെയിൻ ഗ്ലാസ് പ്ലേറ്റ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ദ തിക്നസ് ഓഫ് മൈ എയർ ഫിലിം ബിക്കംസ് വെരി വെരി സ്മോൾ വൈ ഷുഡ് ഐ മേക്ക് ദ തിക്നസ് ഓഫ് മൈ എയർ ഫിലിം സ്മോൾ സോ ദാറ്റ് to obtain an interference pattern we require a thin film whose thickness is in the order of the wavelength of light used so to reduce the thickness of my film i use a plano convex lens of large radius of curvature i think it is clear to you so the newton's rings arrangement consists of a plano convex lens of large radius of curvature placed on an optically plane glass plate as a result here also a thin air film of varying thickness is formed such that the thickness of the air film is zero at the point of contact of the lens and the glass plate and its thickness increases towards the edge of the lens now when a beam of mono how do you get the interference pattern when a beam of monochromatic light is incident normally a part of it is reflected from the top of the air film another part from the bottom of the air film these two rays will superimpose and we get the interference pattern now how is the interference pattern here the interference pattern is in the form of alternate dark and bright rings ingane is in the form of alternate dark and bright rings so that uh, 
why do you get it in the form of rings it is because along a circle the thickness of the air film is a constant very very important point why do you get the interference pattern here in the form of rings it is because along a circle the thickness of the air film is a constant okay so then two more properties of my newton's rings as you go away from the center the rings become thinner and they come close to each other so when you place a plano convex lens on an optically plain glass plate you get a thin air film and when you of varying thickness when you allow monochromatic light to fall on it normally a part of it gets reflected from the top of the air film and another part from the bottom of the air film these two reflected rays will superimpose and you get the interference pattern here the interference pattern is in the form of alternate dark and bright rings okay now what you have to do now is i told you it is in the form of the interference pattern is in the form of alternate dark and bright rings now you have to find the expression for the radius of these dark rings and radius of the bright ring you have to find out the radius of how what is the expression for the radius of the dark and bright rings okay for that what you do is first you write down the condition for obtaining a dark ring and a bright ring now it is this the conditions are exactly the same as in the case of air wedge and interference in plane parallel thin film due to reflected light that is obtaining a dark ring you uh, take the condition 2 mu t cos r equal to n lambda and for the bright ring you have 2 mu t cos r equal to 2n minus 1 into lambda by 2 okay So first I am going to find out the radius of a dark ring. For that I consider the condition for a dark ring 2 mu t cos r equal to n lambda. If normal incidence is taking place, the light is incident normally, then my equation becomes 2t equal to n lambda by mu because cos r is equal to 1. Uh, for normal incidence means light is incident normally, i equal to r equal to 0. So that cos r is equal to 1. now here i have not considered an air film it can be any film that is why i uh, took mu, i kept mu as mu itself i didn't put it as equal to 1 now you consider this uh, figure here here o is the center of curvature od and oc are the radius of curvatures r of the plano convex lens okay now let the point b correspond to, to a point on my dark ring that is the ring will be in a circle okay so b corresponds to a particular point on my dark ring so when you look from here through a traveling microscope you will be able to see a dark ring here and one of the points is b now at b let the thickness of the air film be t so this particular dark band will a dark ring will have the same thickness throughout at all points around the lens that is why i told you get the interference pattern in the form of rings because the thickness of the air film around along a circle is a constant so i'll explain the figure once again this is the center of curvature so that this is radius this is radius at b the thickness of the air film is t if d b equal to t then p c also equal to t so that o p becomes equal to r minus t total distance is r this thickness is t so the distance o p is r minus t so that this is a right angle triangle which is a right angle triangle o d p is a right angle triangle so that o p is equal to r minus t o d equal to r and what is dp it is the radius of curvature of the dark ring i told you at b if you get a dark ring then rn gives the radius of curvature of the dark ring now what i do is i apply pythagoras theorem here so a capital r radius of curvature of my plano convex lens r square is equal to r minus t the whole square plus the radius of my dark ring that is rn square now i do the simplifications i open this bracket and all those things so let us go through 
so what has been done here in triangle odp odp r square equal to rn square plus r minus t the whole square i applied a minus b the whole square here r square equal to rn square plus r square minus 2 capital r t plus t square r square r square will cancel off so you get rn square is equal to 2 r t minus t square t is the thickness of the air film it is very very small so if t square will be still smaller so i neglect t square i avoid this so i got rn square is equal to 2 r t but for a dark ring i have already obtained in the previous page 2t is equal to n lambda by mu that i substitute here in the place of 2t i substitute n lambda so that i get r n square is equal to capital r into n into lambda so that is to obtain the radius of a of any dark ring that is you have dark rings like this in newton's ring so this is my first dark ring second dark ring third dark ring etc so to obtain the radius of the second dark ring what should i do i just have to multiply the radius of the radius of curvature of the lens wavelength of the light used refractive index and multiply it with the number of the uh, ring which you want to get that is radius of the nth dark ring that is radius of the first dark ring second dark ring etc you can find out by just changing small n n you put it for one you get put it as one you get the radius of the first dark ring n equal to two you get the radius of the second dark ring so you find out the radius of the rings by multiplying the radius of curvature of the lens with the wavelength of light used and uh, divide it by the refractive index of the material of the film film can be made of anything if it is air that is you place a lens uh, on a plan uh, or simply on a optically plain glass plate then you get an air film in that case your mu is equal to one so that my equation becomes for an air film r n equal to root of capital r n lambda on the other other hand i take a glass plate i place a few drops of oil on it and then i place the plano convex lens മനസ്സിലായി ഞാൻ ആദ്യം ഗ്ലാസ് പ്ലേറ്റ് എടുക്കുക അതിൻ്റെ മുകളിൽ കുറച്ച് എണ്ണത്തുള്ളികൾ ഇടുക അതിൻ്റെ മുകളിൽ ഞാൻ ഗ്ലാസ് പ്ലേറ്റ് വെച്ചാൽ എനിക്ക് എയർ ഫിലിമിന് പകരം ഓയിൽ ഫിലിം കിട്ടും ദെൻ വാട്ട് യു വിൽ ഹാവ് ടു ഡു യു റീപ്ലേസ് മ്യൂ വിത്ത് ദ റിഫ്രാക്റ്റീവ് ഇൻഡെക്സ് ഓഫ് ഓയിൽ ഓക്കെ സിമിലർലി വി ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദ റേഡിയസ് ഓഫ് ദി എൻത്ത് ബ്രൈറ്റ് റിങ് ഹൗ വിൽ യു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദ റേഡിയ ഓഫ് ദി ബ്രൈറ്റ് റിങ്സ് ദർ ഫസ്റ്റ് വി ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് the condition for obtaining a bright ring that you already knew 2 mu t equal to cos r equal to 2 n minus 1 into lambda by 2 and then for normal incidence cos r equal to 1 if you are considering an air film mu equal to 1 so 2 t equal to 2 n minus 1 into lambda by 2 so r n square so what you do 2 t i have got it here and in the in this equation you replace r n square radius of the bright ring is equal to 2 r t this equation is general in the case of any newton's rings arrangement there you replace this 2 t either with n lambda or with 2 n minus 1 into lambda by 2 you replace 2 t with n lambda then you get radius of dark ring you replace it with 2 n minus 1 into lambda by 2 you get the radius of the bright ring these are the equations for obtaining the radii of a nth dark ring and nth bright ring if it is for a liquid film then you get r n equal to root r n lambda edo or liquid inde radius liquid vechu kanyal illa newton's ring inde radius gal aanu enki dark ring inde radius a kaanengil nammalku ivide oru by mu venam air film aanengil adu venda r n equal to root r n lambda adhe pole thanne bright ring um idu oru liquid film in aanengil what should i do i should have a by mu here if it is for air film this mu is equal to 1 so that my r n is equal to root of r 2n minus 1 into lambda by 2 okay so this much about newton's rings namaku newton's ring ile radius of ed bright ring inde ed dark ring inde radius kaananulla equation aanu nammal ivide ipo padichathu i hope this session is clear to all of you if you have any doubt please do consult thank you